Hi, name's Avatrix. We uh, have a new monster in Lords Mobile, so we have to see how we're gonna hunt it. Now, I've already took a look a bit about um, what this monster is all about, and I think, I think for the most part, I have it figured out. But I haven't tested it a hundred percent, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the level two because if you're gonna be hunting level ones, for the most part. You're just gonna try to do the best that you can with whatever heroes that you have because if you're hunting level ones You probably don't have that many options as far as heroes, etc. Maybe even gear um, but This monster has high physical defense meaning that you want to be sending out mainly casters mage heroes But the, it does it also does give you some very important information here it says that the Tusker will focus on the hero with the highest max HP and try to trample all heroes in a large area. Get out of its line of sight or you'll get stunned. Now that piece of information right there is very, very crucial because... Because of that, I have figured out that for level 2s, this is probably the best team that I can make. Now, there is obviously some variations to this team. Like, for instance, if you're having a hard time staying alive, maybe you're, one of your heroes is dying midway through or maybe around the end, then I would probably take out Incinerator and put in Dream Witch. The reason Dream Witch is here is because she provides heals. And um, I think the main one that doesn't have a way to heal himself is Sage. Um, which actually, I mean, our, as I Sage, Elementalist, I mean. Um, Elementalist, I don't believe, has Life Leech. He does not. So I believe he will be the only one that can actually heal himself back up. So something to keep keep in mind. Um, I believe she does. Yeah, she has Life Leech. So um, you would put in Dream Witch not only because she heals and it, it will help out Elementalist stay alive. But also she does help, uh, help you do more damage. But uh, let's go ahead and try this team out. I'm going to show you why Priestess is very crucial to this whole team and maybe to this whole monster to be honest let's see so the first one does 43 percent that means that maybe if i use like a 50 percent boost i might be able to take him out in two hits at level two matter of fact i might actually pop a 50 and see if maybe maybe i can take out a level two in two hits i don't know how much a 50 really helps in this situation but yeah Second hit does 50%, but outside of the damage that I'm actually doing, and obviously my gear does factor in, it is all mythic, so keep that in mind. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pop a 50 and actually take down a level 2 with uh, with only 2 hits. But um, while I do that, uh, there we go. So let me actually go ahead and show you how this looks and why Twilight Priestess is actually a key against this monster because if you don't use twilight priestess you're gonna lose a lot of damage because you're not gonna be able to avoid the stuns so let's take a look let's go ahead and view battle here we go now i want you to realize that twilight priestess is gonna jump behind him and is gonna actually make him turn around and because he turns around when he actually does his stun the only one that he's stunning is going to be Twilight Priestess. The other heroes are going to continue to do damage. The unfortunate part is that you can't really control Twilight Priestess and when she procs. So there are times that she actually jumps back in front of them. So which really, it's, she's really jumping behind them. But it technically speaking, she's just getting in front of all your other heroes. So unfortunately when she does that, it stuns your heroes, all of them. But eventually she figures it out again and jumps back behind them away from your hero. So let's go see it all in action. So here we go. There she goes. She jumps behind them. And take a look at this. Take a look at this. Twilight Priestess is stunned currently. But the other heroes are not. So take a look at this. Twilight Priestess is stunned. Everybody else is going ham on him, right? So Twilight Priestess is back, right? Now there is a move that he does that you cannot avoid. Uh, and I think he's going to do it right now. Uh, there's the stun. So again, he only stunned Twilight Priestess. Uh, this is the move that you can avoid. It's just going to do damage for everybody. And there's the stun for all your heroes, which is what you want to avoid. But uh, again, since you can't really control Twilight Priestess, you can't really do much about that. And then now there goes the stun, which is Twilight Priestess. 
and your other heroes avoid the stun, being able to keep dealing out the damage that they've been dealing out. Um, because this is a level 2, the reason I'm including Incinerator here over, uh, like, uh, a Dream Witch is because I don't have an issue actually keeping my Elementalist alive. Now, I assume that when I move up to level 3, he's going to be doing too much damage for me to use Incinerator over uh, Dream Witch because I'm going to need her heal. Um, but as you can tell, there's two important factors why Twilight Priestess, you want to use Twilight Priestess. Number one, she's going to jump behind them and make your heroes avoid the stun while she's the only one that's going to get stunned. Like I said, you might only be able to avoid only half of those stuns, but still, it's something. The other key part is that remember, he is going to target the hero with the highest HP. Keep that in mind because when you take a look at uh, Ele uh, Elementalist and all of these other ones, like Twilight Priestess, her HP is 14,000, right? Now, the, all the heroes that I'm using currently, Stone Fox, 13,000, so still Twilight Priestess is up there. T Petite Devil, 11,000. Uh, who else? Elementalist, 10,000. Talk about flimsy, holy moly. Incinerator, 10,000. Uh, who else? Snow Queen, 10,000. These are all the potential heroes that you probably use. Dream Witch, 10,000. So, because Twilight Priestess is gonna have the highest HP out of all of the ones you're going to be using, she is the one that he's going to be targeting, which is perfect, and why Twilight Priestess is gonna be crucial for this hero. Now, for this hero, for this monster. Anyway, you know what I mean. Now, let me go ahead and move up to a level 3, because this is where... I don't think you need a tank just yet because like I said Twilight Priestess is going to be doing uh, most of the quote unquote tanking but I do feel that Dream Witch over Incinerator is probably going to be the right answer because Elementalist is not going to be able to take uh, all that damage without uh, any life leech so this is the team that I'm going with I really wish, uh, I really wish she was gold but it, it does the job let's take a look if I do anywhere from like 8 to 9% I'm gonna be set. Also, I did say I wanted to see if I can two hit at level two, right? Um, is there a level two around here? Probably not, right? Because that's how, this is how this goes. Here is one. All right, so let me use a fifty percent boost and see if it'll actually uh, if it actually matters. Fifty percent boost. All right. My gear. Yes. So let's see. Um, will this two shot a Tusker? I. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, because even if this doesn't do 50%, the next one will definitely do over 50. So let's see. 51%, oh yeah. And then the second hit is always much better, so with a 50% boost, I can actually two-shot a level 2, which is great. That is great. Um, yeah, because sometimes I just go out hunting level 2s. And knowing that I can go ahead and two shot them, maybe even maybe I don't even need a fifty percent. Maybe I only need like a like a twenty five to be honest, because fifty one on the first hit, that's pretty big. Because the second hit is usually on level twos, it's usually like a five or six percent higher. But uh, yeah, there you go, level two done. Um, drops not great, but okay. Let's move on to the level three. Let's move on to level three because. Like I said, I have a feeling that the Dream Witch is um, what's gonna be the key on this one. But if I can do anywhere from like 8 to 10% in that range, it's not much different than any, any of the other heroes. So again, let's take out Incinerator, add her, and let's take a look. 7 to 10%, that's what I'm looking for. I know I'm using a 50%, but that's massive. That's massive damage. I really need to see these replays. 14%? This is a lot more than I actually figured. Because I know that Twilight Priestess is making it all possible. Because if you don't use Twilight Priestess, you're probably going to take more damage than usual. But this is actually way more than I had imagined, to be completely honest with you. Hmm. Can I two-shot the rest of this? If I do anywhere from like 18 to 19%, I think I can. 19 Oh, this is going to be close. Don't leave me with 0.02%. Please don't do this. Don't do this to me. Game! All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, game. Okay. Not bad. Okay. So, like I said, that was actually not bad. Now, I want to see this in action because 
everything is going to be the same except uh, Dream Witch is the one that I'm going to be focusing on and keeping us alive. So let's actually view the battle. Let's Oh, let me turn this around. Because I don't care for Priestess. She's going to stay alive fine. The ones that I care about are the four in the in the front of the back line, I guess you can call this. So let's see. I want to see him do some actual damage here. Um... Where's he gonna use that move that's gonna hit everybody? Here it is. Here it comes. There it is. Oh my god, that's, that did so much damage. Ooh. And this is when Dream Witch is gonna come in super clutch with that heal. Yeah. Elementalist is kind of having a rough go at it right now. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need that. There's the heal that I was looking for. Okay. So I think Elementalist without the Dream Witch heal, I think he would have died. Yeah, he would have. He, he's lost like half his HP a couple of times already. So yeah, I think Dream Witch is definitely the way to go here. If you don't want to lose any hero, um, with two seconds to spare still, wow, I would have probably done another one percent. Not bad. Now, let's actually go ahead and move on to a level five because if this still holds true to a level five, then we've pretty much found um our go-to team for this. Okay, so after experimenting a lot with this level 5 monster, I think I figured out the best team. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you everything I just went through. Um, I, I went through so many different combinations, different tanks, different healers. Um, I, I just went through so many different combos, as you can tell there. And uh, I even tried Prima Donna, Incinerator. Now the main issue that I was running into is that no matter what I tried, double healers, only one healer, a tank, two tanks, etc. They were dying way too quickly and then when I tried Twilight Priestess by herself, she was dying too quickly. So I tried to figure out like what can I do to try and keep Twilight Priestess alive while maximizing my magic damage. And there was one key hero that I overlooked for a while and then I finally stumbled back upon her and she made the whole difference and that was Witch Doll. Now of course she does decent damage but here is the star right here and rightly named Starlight. Increases defense of all allies by 150 and while hunting this monster this comes into play so much because not only does this allow Twilight Priestess to actually stay alive and use her life leech, which is monstrous, but it also keeps all the other uh, heroes just uh, just enough alive to keep doing damage. So let me actually go ahead and show you. Um, I was doing like two percent or so, and then when I uh, when I used this team, it jumped over like over one percent. Which on a level five, you know that that's a pretty big difference. So let's go ahead and hit it and uh, show you how it all goes down. So there it goes, 3.19. Now, let me actually go ahead and show you what this looks like. Because Witch Doll and her, the defensive buff that she gives is the key. Take a look at Twilight Priestess here. She is going to pretty much struggle right out the get-go. But eventually, she's going to be able to stay alive just because... Her auto attacks heal her for so much. Uh, first of all, that's that's a crazy amount to actually heal back. And uh, I want you to take a look at everybody's HP. Because look at this. Without that 150 buff right there, Dream Witch would have died right there. And without Dream Witch, I don't get this heal right there. So it looks like if you want to get level 5 Tusker with the, with the most amount of damage while also not worrying about actually having a tank to tank the damage it looks like witch doll is going to be crucial because there it is twilight priestess is tanking the damage of the level five which i initially thought that it wouldn't happen because she was getting two shot it but look they're all staying just look at look at look at dream witch again she's just staying alive enough with that 150 defense buff to keep healing and keep the team up so that i think is as as of right now is definitely the best team that i have found um let me actually go ahead and finish off this monster because i want to see if it maybe changes 3.3 i want to also make sure that it actually stays pretty consistent i don't get like 3.3 and then all of a sudden i get like a 2.2 3.8 that was way higher than the last one okay 
I don't mind that either. I mean, you, you can go ahead and do that all day long if you want. Let's see. 3.8. So, so far, pretty consistent. So that, that means, when I say pretty consistent, it means that the heroes are staying alive and not randomly dying, like, in the middle of it, throwing off the damage, etc. So this seems to be a pretty consistent, um, yeah, pretty consistent. It went from 3.8 to 4.1, which is, I mean, it's expected. A little bit, getting up a little bit higher. Um, five! Okay, that's a jump I did not expect. 4.1 to 5. I mean, it's good when it jumps up, but it's just so uh, unexpected. That's a, that's a big jump. 4.1. How did I get to 5? That's insane. Huh. But as long as 4. Point something is the lowest, I'm fine. 4.6. Okay. That's okay. Uh, I'll probably get like a 4.5 to 5 here. 4.5, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... What's my max hit? I kind of want to... What is my max hit? My max hit is times 8. Is it times 8 though? Or is it times... Oh, it is times 8. Okay. So I'll do one more of this. And then, and then I'll, just, I'll just max it. I'm not I, I I think I didn't even need a times eight, but just to be just to be sure. Um So that so far this so far is the best team that I can come up with for level five. Now as more and more people hunt, maybe that changes in the future, but honestly that is the best that I fought uh, I found so far. Let me see if there's any good drop that I might have missed. Um, nah, apparently not. Yeah, apparently not. Ah, unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you guys for watching. And if you found a better team for level fives, let me know. But yeah, until later.